Jason this morning, Sarah. Exactly, James. We have a breaking traffic alert on the Howard Franklin. Northbound lane shut down here because of a deadly crash. Captain L has been circling this incident, so we want to get right to him. Captain L, what's going on right now? Hey, good morning, Sarah. Indeed, a terrible accident here. Northbound 275, Howard Franklin Bridge, St. Pete side. But before you get on the bridge itself, you can see right there two vehicles involved, maybe even a third one that we can't see very well. Of course, there are a number of vehicles still here in the middle of those lanes. That one lane you see getting by is only a reliever to get the traffic that was stopped prior to this accident. Therefore, northbound 275 being exited at Roosevelt, you cannot re-enter. MLK and 4th Street both are closed getting onto the northbound Howard Franklin as well as Almerton Road. This investigation should be going on a minimum until 9 a.m. this morning, so definitely use the Gandhi right now. Looks a little bit better or the Courtney Campbell. Back to you, Sarah. Thank you, Captain. Now we'll get to those drive times in just a moment, but this is the amount of traffic that still needs to snake through past uh, that accident. So these people uh, will be sitting here for quite some time. As Captain Al mentioned, uh, 116th Ave, it is, uh, shut, that's where 4th Street North and MLK are shut down here, as well as the 275 northbound entrance ramp uh, from Roosevelt. You cannot get into uh, 275 northbound from this area, avoid it entirely. Unfortunately, the Gandhi already in the red right now 18 minutes across consider the Courtney Campbell or even consider Tampa Road. I know we'll add extra minutes to your commute, but those are other options if you want to avoid uh, the traffic that's already stacking up here. By the way, this is not the only incident we have going on right now. I have blockage on the Selman as well as on I-4. I am posting updates to our free mobile app. You can also follow me at Tampa Bay Traffic on Twitter.